a soccer hooligan at his finest, with this supporter kicking Arsenal goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale. <laughs> It is completely unacceptable, and action should be taken. Talk Sport has more live footage from Sky. Caught an argument between Ramsdale and Spurs forward Richarlson before a melee broke out behind the goal. Images from inside the home end showed Ramsdale walking behind his goal to collect his water bottle before an individual jumped onto the advertising hoarding and kicked him. I find it quite funny how uh, other players or other fans can do what they want to, to goalies who stand there on their own mm. for 90 minutes get abused. And um, I waved at a Chelsea fan the other week who's given me all sorts all, week, all, all second half and we scored the penalty and I waved at him. And the security guard said, why'd you do that? That wasn't necessary. So I said, you've listened to everything he said. Yeah. Every name under the sun. But I can't simply wave. So um. This after Ramsdale said the following in an interview with Peter Crouch and company. Footage from inside the stands has shown the full event in detail, which begins with Richarlson pushing Ramsdale in the face. The Brazilian says he took offense to the England international kissing the Arsenal badge on his shirt in front of Spurs fans, and he had to be pulled away by a steward. After the incident, Sky went through their crowd shots, and let me tell you, they found the culprit. Who... At this point in time, in this still image, had his scarf off his face. Furthermore, with Ramsdale approaching the touchline, the offending supporter leapt over chairs to get to the front, hurtling over other fans, and he then swung his foot at Ramsdale, which provoked his Arsenal teammate, Granite Xhaka, to run over and challenge the fan. Now, the Evening Standard would report this as we were putting this piece together. Joseph Watts. 35 years old, from Hackney, was charged with assault by beating, going onto an area adjacent to the playing area and throwing a missile onto a football playing area, both contrary to the Football Offenses Act of 1991. In a Europa League match between PSV Eindhoven and Sevilla, a pitch invader gets dealt with. In this odd sequence, the Spanish side's goalkeeper, Marco Dimitrovic, gets sucker punch, takes it like a champ, and restrains the man until security arrives. Here is another angle. Unacceptable, inexcusable, another outrageous incident of fan violence plaguing the beautiful game. Fans thinking they have the right to assault members of opposing teams has become a theme for a long time, but one that needs to cease entirely. Oh, oh! Oh my! Oh! Oh my gosh! From Sydney, Australia. <laughs> to leagues in Colombia. In Ligue 1 in France, the problems persist. After the PSV Sevilla Europa League clash, UEFA opened a disciplinary case against the Dutch side. The pitch invader was wrestled to the ground by the Serbian goalkeeper and eventually led away by stewards after the incident 
in the closing stages of the match. CNN has the man's face in one of their articles. Here it is for all to see. Sevilla or PSV are yet to comment on the matter, but Dimitrovic, oh, he's spoken. He came and pushed me from behind, claimed the keeper. He was probably angry about the result and a bit crazy already. He tried to hit me and I managed to grab him and wait for him for security to arrive. It's never nice to see this in football. It shouldn't happen. And from now on, I hope these things are well punished. Sevilla boss Jorge Sampioli added, It is incredibly sad that this has happened. I find it worrying. This type of thing needs to stop. PSV were recently fined 40,000 euros or 35,300 pounds by UEFA because of supporter behavior in October's Europa League 1-0 group stage defeat to Arsenal at Emirates Stadium. Sampaoli would go off further. I truly don't understand how the referee did not take another decision. If you accept this from now on, anything could happen. 